Hello everybody. How welcome to my coffee break. <laughs> Sorry to say how is everybody doing? Today I'm going to be reviewing Kicking Horse Coffee Grizzly Claw. The organic ground coffee, dark roast, rich with dark chocolate notes. Let's see. It says um here, oh, let's get the one that says English, okay, there you go, it says this is uh, roasted in the Rocky Mountains and meant to wake up the world. So we're going to try this coffee today. I picked this up at uh, local HEB and we'll see how it tastes. So I got my cup and my pour over, I'm going to make a pour over today. And you can see the coffee looks pretty good. Smells real good. I think I have enough coffee in there. We're going to make this pour over. I got my kettle. And so here we go. Hope everybody's doing well today. It's pretty warm here in San Antonio. I don't know why I'm drinking a hot coffee this morning. I guess I could, uh, I could have, uh, um, uh, iced coffee. I started to, but, uh, I decided to have a hot coffee today. Let me see what our, if I can, without dropping my kettle on the floor. Oh, the kettle, kettle's heavy. There you go. Making this hot pour over coffee. And I'm surprised you don't hear the puppies next door. They're, my neighbors have two two dogs. One's an older dog and one is a puppy. And so, well, it looks like, it doesn't look like a puppy. It's huge. And uh, they were barking a while ago. So I go, oh no, we're going to hear them on the broadcast. So... Oh, that looks really good. It looks really nice and dark. So I'm getting ready to, as soon as it stops, I'm going to transfer it over. See, this is what the package looks like. And I'm going to transfer it over to, I got another cup. So that way I can uh, put this over there without it dripping all over the place. So here we go. Let's try. Here we go. Put this down here. And because sometimes it still has a little bit of coffee left or water in there. And so if you move it, it'll drip everywhere. Put my kettle down. So I hope everybody's doing well this morning. We're going to have some uh, coffee and caffeine. <laughs> so thank you for joining me on Facebook Live. Hey Moses, how are you today? Thank you for joining me today. I'm having a kicking horse grizzly call. Try this, uh, see what it uh, tastes like. It's supposed to be, uh, it's an organic ground coffee. It already came ground. Normally I, I grind my own, uh, but it came ground already. So I'll give this a try. This one was about, um, I think it was five ninety nine at HEB. Thank you. Glad you're doing great. It's been really warm here in San Antonio. It's uh, got over to a hundred. Yeah, it is right. Grizzly claw has a little bear right there. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, this coffee is uh, roasted in the Rocky Mountains. It says organic, fair trade. It's roasted right in the Rocky Mountains. And it's meant to wake up the world. Wake us, wake up with us, it says. It says in the heart of the mountains, a strong spirit roams. Here a nod to the magical hands that nature can play. This wild roast roars with, from within. 
but it says on the side. So, there we go. That's really good. Looks, looks um, from my my side when I'm looking at through the lights. It does have a really nice dark look, and it tastes really refreshing. Um, hot coffee. I don't know if you can say hot coffee is refreshing because usually when something's cold. Oh yeah, cheers. Thank you, Moses. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Oh, it's really good. It has a good flavor. I don't know if I... I think I do taste uh, the dark chocolate. But it, it's, not, it's not flavored, it's just the way the beans, the dark roast coffee usually has a, a chocolatey taste. But this one was, cost me about, I think it was um, $5.99 at HEB, our, our grocery store here in San Antonio. Pretty much our, own gross, our only grocery store. Um, we do have a Whole Foods and we do have a Sprouts and a Trader Joe's, but um, that's the only uh, grocery chain that's here. There is talk that Kroger's is going to have a coffee delivery, coffee delivery, <laughs> grocery delivery uh, service here, but that's they're not going to have a grocery store. HEB pretty much ran everybody off. We used to have Albertsons, we used to have Kroger's, but then uh, HEB pretty much took over. Um, and we, uh, we do have, I had to take that back, we do have a Walmart, and some of the Walmarts here have grocery stores, but not, not very good looking groceries. <laughs> yeah. This would be a great coffee for delivery. I think you can go on their website. I'm, I was looking to see if they have a website on here, on their package, but they don't. But I think you can get this on Amazon. This is a 10 ounce bag. It's a 284 grams. I guess for a 10 ounce bag, maybe 599, 699, probably, a little bit on the expensive side, maybe not, but actually, it is a very good coffee. So, here we go. I, I've been looking. I've been looking into maybe getting uh, like a coffee subscription, not necessarily to this coffee, but uh, to a coffee uh, delivery that every month they send you a different coffee. And I've been looking into that, but I haven't uh, decided yet on that. I was watching somebody on uh, Twitter. When you watch people on Twitter, you, you can't you can comment on their their uh, their posts, but you can't when you're watching them live. You can't comment on it. But they had. Um, Oh, I already forgot the name of the coffee. I already, darn, I don't even know why I said that because then I forget the name of the coffee. But the, anyway, they had a coffee subscription to a coffee and it looked pretty good. The gentleman was doing, he was making a pour over and he had a, like a prepackaged coffee. They have different flavor, different flavors and so... It looked pretty good. I might even try to try that coffee. You know, not, not so bad for a hot coffee. I would. I was usually in my studio, aka garage, 
it gets pretty warm in here sometimes. And so drinking a hot coffee usually is not that great of a thing to do because it's so hot in here. But I guess since it's morning time, um, not so bad. In the, in the uh, afternoon, it is way too hot to come in here. <laughs> so if you need to get something from the, the garage, a.k.a. studio, you come in here and get it, and you go back inside the AC. That is, that is very good. Very smooth. I like that. You know, pour overs are, are really good. Um, they're le a little bit less acidic than uh, if you brewed it. But it has a actually good flavor. So if you try this coffee, uh, it's called Kicking Horse. They have different uh, different uh, names um, for their brand. I mean, not, not for the brand, but for their different coffees that they have. And I just picked this one up. So if you try this one, leave a comment down below and let me know if you liked it. And if you want to see future coffee reviews, or cof uh, yes, what was it? day for yesterday, I went to have a, a Vietnamese iced coffee at a bubble tea place, or boba tea place. And um, it was actually really, really good. Uh, I really had a good coffee taste. This, uh, within these iced coffees places, they'll put a lot of uh, condensed milk, and so it's really, really sweet. But this one, the one I had the uh, day for yesterday, was really good. So, well, remember, coffee and friends make a perfect blend, and I appreciate you joining me today thank you for watching the replay and moses thank you for joining me today i really appreciate it and we'll see you next time on kenrod's coffee break bye everyone we'll see you next time